Hello singers and welcome to the Charlotte Mendeley Voice Centre. Today we're going to be looking at stretches for singers. So grab some space and let's get started. Okay, so stretches for singers. Why might this be important? So probably during the current circumstances of working at home, um, being on your laptop or phone more regularly, we need to kind of move the body and make sure that we're not getting any tension in our upper body. And this is especially important for singers as our instrument is our body, it is you. So it's really essential to kind of make sure that everything is moving, that you know, we're not holding tension in the body, so that when we come to sing, that we are really in tune with what's happening inside, internally with the muscles as well. So to begin with, if you want to put your feet a little bit apart, so hip width, we should feel nice and central in the body. Okay, and first of all, we're just going to do a head roll. So we want to take it back, all the way around. And then you can go the other way. Okay. And then we're going to look to the left. So you can take your eyes over your shoulders. And then over to the right. Try up above. And then back to center. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is get your hands, clasp them at the back of your head. And then we're going to have a big inhale and stretch up. And then we're going to look down and look to the floor and slightly feel the stretch at the back of the neck. So we don't want to pull down the head too much. We want to take it down. and then release. So whilst you're taking the head down, you can always pivot to the right or the left to feel a little bit more stretch down the right or left side of the neck. So let's just do that again. So hands behind the head, inhale and exhale, look down. And then release. You may find that you want to repeat some of these exercises a few times. I generally try and hold them for 10. Um, that might be too much to start off with, but you can always build up to it or you might even want to do a little bit more. So from there, we're going to do the shoulders. Nice, simple roll back. We'll take four back. And then we'll take them forward. Here's some crunches on mine. <laughs> so we're going to take the arm across, probably did this in PE, where you pull across, but then just look over that right shoulder. And then release, and then we'll do the other side. So nice pull across, look over there, to the left, and then release. Okay, just to open up these shoulders a little bit more, we're going to take our right hand and try and clasp underneath the shoulder blades. So some of you might not be able to reach. This is really nice for opening up the shoulders, especially if you've been sat at a desk or over a phone or a laptop for too long. And then go to the other side. So I always find that I can't do my left side as well as my right, but everything's a work in progress. <laughs> and then if you want to hold that for another 10. So when we do warm-ups in our ensembles or in our choirs, we often do some of these exercises just to get the body kind of relaxed and focused as well. And then you can release. So hopefully you'll feel a lot more open in them shoulders and in the neck. So give these a go. If you're need, if you need like a five minute break whilst you're working, you know, jump on this, this video and see if you can just kind of open up that neck and them shoulders. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe. Next week there'll be another Tuesday tutorial, all directed for singers of any age and any ability.
Thanks for watching.